Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Cocktail Hammer. So today we're going to be making a Manhattan. Now, yeah. what exactly goes in a Manhattan? So the Manhattan is one of my favorite cocktails to make. It's one of the easiest. It's always served up, which means it's always served in a stem glass. Uh, that's to keep it from heating up uh, because the Manhattan doesn't use ice as in it uses ice, but it doesn't have ice inside of the glass when you drink it. So you want to pre-chill it beforehand. So what goes inside the Manhattan uh, is really easy to memorize. The portion sizes are oh, this two is a good ones. one. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. So the area code for Manhattan is two one two, and that those are the portion sizes that you're gonna want in your Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're gonna want two ounces of rye whiskey. Uh, it could be any whiskey, uh, but particularly rye. Mm -hmm. The Manhattan is known as the quintessential rye whiskey. So you're gonna want two ounces of rye. One ounce of sweet vermouth and right. two two dashes of Angostura bitter. Now, cocktails have different recipes all over the place. If you look in one website, it'll tell you a, certain, a slightly different measurement than another one. Um, and I got this one recently because we just purchased um, this mixing glass from a bar above not too long ago, and it has a really cute um, little pamphlet. Yeah, um, that tells you how to make the Manhattan. Now, the measurements in here are two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of sweet vermouth, and one dash of Angostura bitters. Um, so that's 211, but I like your 212 way more because that's the area code of Manhattan, so it's a lot easier to remember those measurements. Yep. And you know, the difference between one one dash and two dashes so really aren't that, that different. So um, if you're gonna remember the measurements for Manhattan, I strongly suggest going for 212. All right, well, uh, what are we going to need, right? We're going to need this stirring glass that I really like. We're going to want ice and we're going to put everything in that glass. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's get the sweep removed. <laughs> I reached for the ice. <laughs> All right. Uh, man. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Now you got this Japanese style one. Yep. Are we going to use this or are we going to use the other one? Let's use that one. All right. Yeah. And this is the one ounce, yeah? That's the one ounce. If you flip it on the other two. side, it has a little measurement inside that says two. I like this one. We're going to link to this in the description if you want one. So, one ounce here? Yep. One. Okay. One right. ounce of sweet vermouth. Two ounces of dry whiskey. All right, so we're going to use this 1776 rye because it's all I got on hand right now. <laughs> got other whiskeys, but no more rye than that. So we're going to go for two of these. pretty good, too. What's your favorite rye? I think my favorite rye is Michter's or recently I tried this High West uh, rye whiskey. Amazing. It was just like super peppery, very uh, kind of like oaky. I really enjoyed it. It's High West double oaked uh, rye whiskey. You know, I like to I like to expand. I like to experiment. Uh, I'm going to keep trying some more rye this week. So, uh, all right. So we just put in one ounce of sweet vermouth. Two ounces of rye whiskey. Dashes. Wait, 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 wait. Do we want the dashes first or after? You want it before. Why? Because we're gonna mix it and instead of it just laying on top, you you want to get it in there. You want it to dissolve inside uh, with the ice. Let's go for two dashes here. All right. Now we're experience. gonna want to fill that about a little less than halfway with ice. A lot. Of, there's a lot of debate over using um, big ice cubes or small ice cubes because of. Uh, Global warming. Dilution. <laughs> but uh, to be honest, um, this time we're going to use small ice and then hand that over. I'm going to stir this for about 10 seconds. Your hand's going to start feeling it. Hey, how's it going? There's this misconception that the Manhattan is like really bright red. And if you Google pictures and stuff, you'll find that people like really up the saturation and like color it to make it look like super red, but the it's Manhattan, brown. yeah, it's, it's like a brown. Man. Yeah. Um, all right. So we're going to use our julep strainer. Not that the opposite. All right. So for garnish, what are we going to use? What are we going to garnish this? With? We're going to go simple. We're going to do a lemon coin. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got to get my knife out here. Now you can do all kinds of different types, styles of, of garnishes, correct? Yeah, yeah, you could do, wow, look at the oils off that, wow. Um, you could do a lemon Ooh. coin, you could do a lemon twist. Uh, it takes, the lemon twist takes practice. A little but bit of finesse, but here we go. You could do a flamed lemon coin. How's uh, that? Yeah, you heat it up with a oh, match. Oh, let's do that. I ha oh, no, no, we got, I got a torch. 
All right, cool. All right, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you're just gonna wanna flame the inside just for a couple seconds. In here, yeah? Yep. Let's put that right over here. Perfect. And then now, you smell that? It's gonna add a level of smokiness to it. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to express the oils over it by twisting it. Uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that zest. Beautiful. A little smoky. Put it around the rim. Around the rim. I'm gonna just do one of these. Yeah. Wow, that looked cool. And there we have it. There you have it, the Manhattan. Le Manhattan, why did I do that in French? <laughs> French accent. The no, Manhattan. Have. Just a, the lemon is everything. The, the everything, lemon is right? everything. Ooh. What notes do you get off of the Manhattan? What taste? Oh, I get a, notes of, of whiskey, no, notes of, uh, of uh, Angostura bitters. I'm definitely getting strong notes of lemon and a little bit, a few notes of uh, vermouth. <laughs> well, there you have it, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, that's all we got for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing and hit the little bell. Hit the little uh, no, bell icon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hit the bell icon <laughs> and hit the like button so uh, you can get more of this content. Other people can see this content too. All right, that's all we got. Thanks. Take care. See you.